Hey everyone, it's Mr. Mott. What we're going to do is go through our cobalt chloride equilibrium lab. Uh, the solutions I have in front, this is a 0.1 molar cobalt chloride solution prepared in ethanol. Um, so we're going to uh, uh, put these solutions under some stress and see if uh, the equilibrium changes from maybe either pink to blue um, or maybe no reaction happens. First thing we're going to do, I've got some hot water in a beaker. Um, and we're gonna see how the equilibrium uh, may be affected by temperature. Okay, so I'll take my purple uh, solution here and hopefully you can kind of tell what is going on there uh, and the color change. Let me see if I can get a little bit different uh, piece of paper here maybe um, so you can see that color change a little bit better. Um, hopefully that you're seeing that um, it is turning blue all right, and it's definitely turning a blue there, okay? Um, now I'm gonna contrast that with some cold water. Um, and so I've got a, a cold water bath here and uh, let's see how our uh, color change may occur. So again, same solution, kind of in a purple color here. And let's see how this one changes with temperature. And that one definitely is looking like it is turning more pink. Um, just as a good reference, um, so that these are kind of next to each other, um, you can kind of see the color change. No longer purple, definitely more of a pink. And one on the blue is definitely, um, uh, the hot one is definitely blue. And uh, the one that is cold uh, is uh, turning pink, all right? So, um, so definitely affected by uh, changes in temperature, uh, definitely shifting either to the products or reactants, okay? All right, um, next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at uh, what happens when we added some silver nitrate solution. So I've got a silver nitrate solution here, um, and uh, we're gonna add that to one of our uh, test tubes and see how it reacts, okay? So I'm gonna get this ready, okay? And our method says we're gonna add about five drops. Let's see. Okay. So we definitely see, um, hopefully you saw like that reason got kind of cloudy here. Hopefully we can see that a bit. Um, we see a precipitate forming there um, and is definitely turning pink, okay? So in contrast with your color, um, definitely more pink. Um, and the reason it got cloudy there uh, we have a we have a precipitate that's forming, and we can see that on the bottom of our test tube as well. All right, so pink and a precipitate with silver nitrate. Okay. Um, next one, we're going to add a little bit of water. So I've just got a little squirt bottle of water, and uh, and uh, so I've got another same solution here again, a purple solution, and we'll add a little bit of water to it. Give that a little bit of a shake. Okay. Hopefully you see the water, the water is kind of settling at the bottom there. Definitely kind of turning a lighter pink. I'm just going to kind of agitate it. You can agitate a test tube like this in case you don't have a stopper to mix it. A little shake there like that as well. And definitely turning, uh, definitely turning pink. Here's my solution on the right. In contrast, I think the one on the left is definitely turning pink. All right. Okay. So turn pink with water. Um, next one, we're going to add some potassium chloride uh, in here uh, into uh, another uh, test tube here with our purple sample. Okay. Doesn't have to be a lot, just hopefully that any little amount that we're doing, um, we should see a change if the change is going to occur. Okay, so dump that in there. Give it a little shake, see if I can get it to mix or anything like that. Okay, let's kind of go up in front, see if we see anything. Okay, any kind of change that's happening. Doesn't appear to be really much of a, a change at all, if any. And uh, so I'll take another one we haven't used, put it next to it, and they pretty much look the same color 
um, kind of depends on a little bit of the lighting and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, doesn't look to be a much of a change in color. All right. Sometimes hard to tell with the lighting in the room and stuff like that. So I'm not noticing much of a change there. Okay. And uh, uh, we've got some, uh, some lead nitrate uh, as well that we're going to add to one of ours. And so here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to take one of these out. Let that kind of get back to room temperature for a moment. Uh, all right, so I've got my lead nitrate solution here. Uh, we're going to add a couple drops. So it turns cloudy white pretty quickly here, um, but then definitely turning kind of a pink as well. Again, the white is going to be our precipitate that's forming. Um, if we let this settle out, you know, you'll definitely see more white on the bottom like what you're seeing. Um, and then uh, and definitely turning pink as well. So two, be, two good piece of information there. All right. Um, last thing that we're gonna do, um, we're gonna get a test tube with uh, um, uh, some cobalt chloride. We're gonna add 12 molar hydrochloric acid, okay? Um, normally I wouldn't uh, do this out in the open, but I've got a dropper bottle. I'm just adding a few uh drops in there and it's important to use the 12 molar in this case um, so that we don't have introduce any water uh, to alter our results at all okay so i'm gonna move all these over and this will be the one on the left okay so this is gonna be where i have my 12 molar um, hydrochloric acid okay that I got in a little dropper bottle we're gonna add that to here So just a few drops of that ought to get us a change and definitely is looking pretty blue, all right? So definitely looking pretty blue. If I hold the, the white piece of paper behind it there, definitely turning pretty blue, all right? And give it that little bit of a mix. Because this, uh, the, the um, solution that we made is an ethanol, um, the water takes a little bit of time to mix. So I'm kind of noticing that the bottom part is more blue in here. Um, the top part hasn't 100% mixed yet, but that would happen as we add more um, acid or maybe give it a little bit more of a mix, all right? But that acid is definitely turning uh, our, our solution blue, shifting the equilibrium, all right? Thanks for watching.